great crowd filling in. They're expecting every seat to be occupied in Cincinnati as the Bearcats win the opening tip. Well, they've used nine different starting lineups this year. They're still searching for any sort of combination that'll work as Kevin Johnson gets the scoring started for Cincinnati. Queen City native. Evans with the answer. Nice little screen on the wing. Wide open. Jacob Evans buries that most of the time, shooting 39% from three this season. Back-to-back -back times, Tulsa. And they're not afraid to run. They, they just want to manage the number of possessions in this game. That's why they wanted to slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, same spot for Jacob Evans, same result. Clark lost it, got it back, nearly put it in, chases down his own miss. Copain a spot up three. And that's a welcome sight. Copain feeds Clark at the free throw line. Backed out by Bonner. Restarts. Nice move by Clark. If it is a zone, it's fairly shaky. A little bit of confusion perhaps defensively for Tulsa here. Seven to shoot, and a contested shot goes for Gary Clark. Magna underneath, knocked away easily by Kyle Washington. Evans on the run out. Wow. Timeout, Tulsa. It averages 17 points per game from the foul line, only two of them today. Nice entry pass, Gary Clark with the finish, and the lead is 23. They've been unable to put it in for, for whatever reason. And I asked you at the half, what does Tulsa need to keep doing? And that is just find a way. You can't be upset with the look. And, and Taplin, his credit, seven points, four assists. That's a decent day. Cincinnati's just been better on both sides of the floor. And Troy Copain in no hurry. Bearcats on their way to their 13th win. In conference play, and that's a nice way to cap the night. Some foul trouble lately, so he's only played 16, 18 minutes. When he plays 25 minutes or more, UCF is hard to beat. Wow, shots hanging in there. 42 second half points for Cincinnati. Their 24th straight win at home, and Mick Cronin's 300 in his Division One career.